Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page three. Page three, our way. <laughs> Not here we are. That's what I said in my last video. Sorry about that. Hope everybody's doing well. Kind of on a little bit of a roll. I think this is my third page today. Sometimes it goes well, other times I get a little stalled. Okay, so this is from the 12 by 12. It's a cut apart, and I already uh, applied it to this mat, and then this is the back side of it. So I'm using two 12 by 12s and three 8 by 8s at the moment, and I'm only on page three, so it could be more. This is from the 8 by 8 collection, and if you recall, I used this pattern on page two, so it's going to pull it in, although most of these um, patterns you can mix and match pretty easily. Um, it's not like you have to work very hard to, to make your page layouts go together because they all have the same colors in it. Okay, so we're putting down our base, which is just going to go, I'm going to make sure that, yeah, my pocket page going the right way. I like so. I've got everything trimmed and inked with mahogany. Now I'm going to feature this beautiful 6x6 six six right here, but I want it to be a card. So I went ahead and made another 6x6.5, six six scored a half inch on that. I'm going to put these two together to make a card. Because I was using 85 by 11 paper. If you have 12 by 12 you don't have to, you can just score it in half. Pick two, here it is. And even though it's black, um, not all blacks are the same. Some are shinier than others, so I didn't want to introduce another um, paper brand. Even though most of it is covered. Okay, so now we have this card. This is going to get attached to center, like so. <clears throat> Okay, I'm just eyeballing it. I think that's pretty close. Oops, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to add a small pocket to the inside, and it is four by seven, four by seven four by seven, score half inch on three sides. It's going to go on the outside of this flap. And that way when it's closed, um, whatever's in the pocket uh, won't slip out. So the opening is going to be on this side, the score is going to be on that side. Okay, so there's my score line. <clears throat> okay, and you can see I placed a magnet here and the opposing magnet is gonna go on this side. And I did that wrong. I put sticky on both sides. Should have only been on one side. There we go. So this, Go on here. Okay, and there's our magnet closure. Okay, and we cover the pocket with this beautiful pattern. Looks like I may have over that just a little bit. OK, 
Okay, this is going to be... <laughs> I can't get under anything lately. This is going to be the pattern that goes here, which, because I'm using two 12 by 12s, is just the flip side of this. Inside the pocket. It's a little bit too big, so I'm going to trim this down so I don't have to fight so much of it to go into the pocket. ink on it so we're ready to go. Now I have, I'm going to just tuck that in there for now, I have um, these little uh, journal cards and so you can cut them apart as individuals but then I did a couple where I just cut them so that I could put a score between them and then you'd have journaling right on the inside. So that's what I'm going to place in this pocket. And I'll probably come back and put a photo mat in here too, but I got to see uh, where all my paper winds up. Make sure that's got glue all the way around it. So that is it for page three. And then I'll just pull in page two so you can remember what they look like side by side. I think that turned out nice. Okay, I'll be back soon with page four.